if you live in one of the 48 states that have butchered the definition of the word saving, then you are probably feeling groggy this week and your kids and your pets are driving you nuts. Did you know that daylight savings time doesn't save energy, can make people sick, and actually costs money? Today I'm going to give you four strategies to quickly recover from your daylight saving blues. Hey there, I'm Dr. Devin Atkinson from Atkinson Family Chiropractic in Denver, North Carolina. And over the past 15 years, I've helped thousands of people say goodbye to back and neck pain. Daylight saving time actually increases energy costs. Studies have linked daylight saving time to car accidents, increase of workplace accidents. They have caused an increase in suicides and an increase in miscarriages. And the early night time that comes with the end of daylight saving time, so like right now, causes a major increase in depression. So the first strategy we're gonna talk about is having a consistent wake and sleep time every day, even on the weekends. It's really important for your body's circadian rhythm to get the same uh, amount of sleep, going to bed at night, getting up in the morning every day, so that you can keep that balanced throughout the week. If you are having trouble getting to sleep at night or staying asleep at night, we have found a new all natural product that really, really helps people not only get to sleep quicker, but stay asleep longer. Dr. Lori has been on it for over six weeks and she has slept like she has never slept in her entire life. So uh, if you want more information about that, give me a email, info at atkinsonfamilychiro.com. Strategy number two is take a nap if you really need to. And I'm talking take a nap of 20 minutes or less at least eight hours before you are supposed to go to bed at night. My third strategy that I want you to do is spend time outside during the day when the sun is out. When the sun hits your skin, it tells your brain to release a hormone called serotonin. Serotonin is responsible for not only boosting your mood, but helping you feel calm and focused. Without sun exposure, your serotonin levels dip which can be associated with a major increase in depression or just being down in the dumps all the time. And my fourth strategy is avoid looking at any sort of technology at least 30 minutes before you go to bed. Exposure to light suppresses the secretion of melatonin, which is a hormone that influences your circadian rhythm. Even dim lights can affect your circadian rhythm and your melatonin levels in your body. While light of any kind can suppress your melatonin secretion levels, blue light at night does it the most. It suppresses your melatonin levels the absolute most. And blue light is in all fluorescent and LED lights, especially the LED lights in your phones. So put the phone down at least 30 minutes. Stop watching TV at least 30 minutes before you go to bed. Uh, two hours is better, but Let's be realistic, at least 30 minutes. If you found this video helpful, tag a friend down below so that they can watch it too. If you need some more info about the product I was talking about earlier, email me at info at Otherwise, have a wonderful day. Bye.